el chisme. What's going on guys welcome back to the cheese report i'm your host danny flores if you're new here make sure that subscribe button that little bit right next to it that way you get notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to like and comment down below guys what's good welcome back to a brand new cheese report today's report is actually brought to you by annette 69 cassie moi and laura Mayalo, guys because last night annette 69 went on live on tiktok and she spilled the beans she spilled the tea but before we get into it guys go grab your snacks come back sit back and relax seen the title above where you guys are watching me we're gonna be talking about annette 69 because she called out cassie moi and laura Miado guys because apparently they were at a birthday party um marlene dizzle's birthday party and that's when things went down but annette 69 said that the beef with cassie goes way back like two years ago they had beef and i feel like this beef comes from you know regular social media stuff like one person thinks they're superior than the other one and the other person doesn't think so and that's why you know they start the whole drama and then you know someone gets a brand deal the other one doesn't it's like oh my god like what like what happened but it's typical social media drama guys and for those that don't know annette 69 does have a different you know social media group and Cassie Ma has another social media group slash click and you know it just separated on one group we have Annette you know Jenny Alan Ice Danny Adam Ray OK you know some of the TikTokers that are coming up right now and over here with Cassie Ma you have uh, Laura Miado you have um, Let's Do Makeup you have those other you know YouTubers that hang out with these people but you know like I said different clicks just like when you're in school but yesterday Annette 69 did not hold back she called out Cassie Ma and Laura Miado guys so apparently they're at a birthday party marlene this is a birthday party i think that's how you say it but her name's marlene they're at a birthday party they got a whole party bus they stopped to eat canes and well you know some people were not hungry as in like cassie um her husband and one of the friends jesus but they weren't hungry so they stayed in the bus and obviously when people are getting off the bus you know they try to make room so people could pass by so you know annette and her group were passing by you know cassie you know just I guess let her pass by like being nice or whatever she passed by and Annette 69 you know thought or she says uh, they whispered something under their lips making a sound and then when Annette got off the bus that's when she said like she started going off and saying like say to my face blah 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 and this is when the you know the TikTok live takes place I'm so proud of myself that I'm finally sticking up for myself because like I said Dude, this has been an ongoing thing for years, years. <sighs> hey, Eddie. <laughs> and you know, y'all already know that I'm real with you guys, you know, and sometimes like it's hard to be 100% real because social media, it's a fantasy, you know what I mean? But like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and like I feel like it's so important for me to share this with you guys because like you know these are people you follow like you you think that I don't know you know I'm not gonna say too much about that but like you guys always have my back and like I, even today like I was like I can't believe that this happened like am I in the wrong you know like did I do something wrong but I know in my heart I did nothing wrong 1000% and I just feel like I have to share that with you guys then uh, Laura and Vic, they're approaching me and Laura pretty much starts off um, by saying like, so what's going on? You know, like whatever, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, you know what's going on. You know what I mean? And she was just kind of like trying to be the mediator and stuff. But I literally told her, I was like, you know what? Like, honestly, I don't know why you're the one that's out here talking to me. I feel like Cassie should be the one to um, be talking to me because Laura is literally like Cassie's little mom. And she literally babies her for everything. Like Ca Laura has already tried to apologize to me for Cassie like two years ago like girl are we not adults can you not use your mouth i don't know so whatever so laura is saying that and i you know i told her i was like i feel like Cash cassie should be the one here like why is she not here and then that's when vic kind of like butted in and he was like well do you want me to like explain the situation to you or like not like just tell me like yes or no and i was like there's no explaining that needs to be done i literally witnessed it it's literally my business like what are you talking about he's like so you don't want me to explain anything i was like no and then they were like all right let's go let's go 
Me? Let me sit up. They were like, all right, let's go. Cassie, come And they walk away. Laura, Laura walked away screaming, Cassie, come girl. What? And girl, did I not just, why is mommy Laura coming out here? It says, here we go. It says, hey, Alan, I ain't got no problems with you, but if your friend has a problem with me, tell her let's handle it. Did I not tell you to say it to my face? Was I not ready to square up right then and there? I literally was begging you to come out. So I'm a little bit confused about that. I will say that. And this was at 2.59 a.m. So this was already obviously like after the party, you know, sweetheart. Um, so I know she's been having a problem with me since years ago, but I dropped that shit because I ain't got no issues. But the fact that I can't even message her myself because she has me blocked says a lot. Of course, if she's going to uh, start something, I'm going to back it up. She's not blocked. She has never been blocked. The only one that is blocked now as of ten, uh, last night is Laura. Laura and Laura's mom. <laughs> They're both blocked. And Laura's boutique. Bye. Oh, and Vic. Yeah, and Vic too. So um, she's definitely not blocked. She can definitely. So to me, it seems like Annette 69 is a person that doesn't really care. Like she wants to be cordial just to, you know, not ruin Marlene's birthday party. Same for Cassie. She doesn't want anything to go down. But, you know, if it was if the opportunity was there, obviously they would both like settle it right then and there, probably go outside. But this whole party, Marlene's birthday party was actually at Laura's warehouse. So, OK, so you have Cassie, you know, good friends with Laura. And then you have Annette that's not really, you know, oh, she's like not friends, friends, but she's like whatever, I guess. And, you know, it's in Laura's freaking warehouse. She's like, she's kind of iffy going about like going to the party or whatever. And then she's like, you know what? F it. I'm going to do it for Marlene. You know, if she's my friend or whatever. But she went. She didn't care. She went. She had fun until this whole situation happened. So apparently Laura, you know, and it's Laura's warehouse. So she doesn't want anything to go down, you know, any responsibility. And Laura has been doing this for the longest time. I don't know if it's just me, the vibe I get from her, but Laura's the type of person that, you know, she seems, don't come at me, but she seems kind of fake. Like, she tells a person one story, but she goes to another person and tells them another story. And, like, she's being fake in your face. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. But that's just the vibe I get from her. So, Laura's trying to, you know, handle the, the stuff with Annette, saying, oh, she didn't mean that. She didn't say anything. You're thinking something else. But then Annette, you know, being herself, saying, you know what? No, it's she got a problem tell her to come to me face to face or whatever and i don't know if laura lost it or she's just tired of the whole situation trying to be nice the nice one to handle this whole stuff but like she she lost her patience basically and told um cassie to come beat her up to come beat up annette and when she said that i was like damn i didn't never think that laura was that type of person that type of girl to you know what just said f it come over here beat her ass like damn but then as you guys see in the live you know cassie dm'd alan alan's very close to the 69 sisters especially annette so you know they dm'd alan and you know trying to handle the situation between her and annette through alan which i found kind of weird like like annette's Said, you know if you had something to say with me just ask alan like what's my number and then we'll handle it instead of having alan being the middleman and going back and forth with them so i don't know allegedly annette 69 blocked cassie from instagram but i mean there's other communications like twitter uh tiktok or whatever you guys use but this was kind of all a misunderstanding just because annette really thought they said something under their lips and cassie said they didn't so so at this point we know it's a misunderstanding what do you guys think about the situation um was you know annette 69 on in the right place to be like nah hell no nah, she's talking smack because like i said this beef has been going on for like a while like two years already and you know i i don't know like if i had a beef with someone i wouldn't really go to an event that the person was in but you know if it's my friend's party then obviously i'll be there and be cordial or whatever but as of cast like if she really said something under her lip then hey she's trying to handle it she's trying to handle the beef you know settle the beef or whatever but yeah let me know what do you guys think down in the comments below but other than that guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this cheese me report hopefully you guys are having a wonderful monday and uh yeah let me know your opinions down below but thank you guys so much for watching my name is danny and i'm out peace
sea.